Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to your bonus reading. This is a timeless reading, guys. No particular time frame for it. So whenever you're guided to tune in and hopefully resonate with the messages, I hope that it offers you clarity and guidance on whatever is going on in your life at that time. This is a general reading, as always, Sagittarius, so it's not going to resonate with every single person out there. So please do take from it what makes sense for you and your situation and release the rest. If you are, however, interested in a private reading from me, all of that information is down below in the description box. I will also have a list of all of the card decks that I do feature during my readings. All right, guys. So I really wanted to start off this bonus reading for you with a focus message using this brand new deck. It's called Sacred Geometry of Relationships Oracle, and it's got some really nice messages in here. I'm still learning a lot of the meaning, so I might have to refer to the guidebook that accompanies this deck. So let's take a look, Sagittarius, on grabbing one focus message for this bonus reading for you from this deck. So angels and spirit guides focusing on Sagittarius energy. What needs to come through from this bonus card deck? Let's grab this one. Connection. Look at that. This particular card reads, the frequency of connection supports our ability to find alignment and resonance with others, things, and ideas. Absolutely. You know, there are so many different types of connections that we can make in our lifetime. It doesn't just have to be romantic in nature. And we make hundreds, if not thousands of connections in our lives and some impact our lives more than others, of course. You know, there are soulmate connections, certainly twin flame connections, karmic partnerships, you know, so many different types of connections. And it really depends on how they come into your life and how you allow them to interject their energies into your life. So let's take a look and see how this particular focus card plays out for this reading for you, Sag. Okay. And I also wanted to grab an additional card using the Lover's Oracle deck from Germany that I have by Sulamith Wolfing. I swear, I always feel like I'm mispronouncing that name. So, all right, let's see. I feel like grabbing an additional one from this deck. So let's see what else needs to come through here for you, Sag. Whoops. What am I guided to? This one. Whoops. <laughs> It's flying up in the air already. Okay, it says, love cures people, both those who give it and those who receive it. Of course, it has to be reciprocated, you know? It just can't be a one-way street. And I love how it's accompanying that connection focus card. So beautiful combination of cards here to start off. All right, I am going to grab some Mystic Moon Oracles to start off this reading for you. And let's take a look, Sagittarius, what it is that you would benefit from knowing at this time. Again, I don't have an agenda for this reading. I don't even have any questions that I'm asking. I'm just going to allow the cards to communicate whatever it needs to at this time. And whenever you are guided to tune in and if it resonates, and I truly hope that it benefits you. All right, guys, let's get started. So angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius. We do have Dark Knight of the Soul. For me, I typically tap into Divine Masculine energy from that card, or really whoever is resonating with the energies of this particular message. You know, when somebody is in that Dark Knight of the Soul energy, they are in a dark space, and they might have a whole lot going on in their lives that might not even have anything to do with you, you know, Sag? So if there is somebody that you're thinking about for this reading, if they seem to be a little bit engaged in themselves and they're all in their head about what's going on in their world, you know, just maybe take a step back and just give them some space to try to figure out what's going on in their situation in their life. Okay. The other card that came through is compromise. So this is coming through in this reading because perhaps that is what's lacking in a particular connection or relationship that you are in. Okay, so let's grab some more and see what else can fill in the gaps of what's happening here for you, Sag. 
So angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know, please, at this time? Please bring it forward for me. The answer is no. People tend to freak out whenever this no card comes forward in a reading because it's oftentimes, you know, somebody's asking, will my person come back to me? Will we ever get back together? Um, and if this no answer comes forward, you know, they automatically just assume that it's a negative no, but it really doesn't have to be, you know, because this no could be answering the question, are we over? The answer is no. You know, so it really depends on how you perceive it in your situation, in your life. And if you're coming from a place of positive thinking rather than feeling as though things are never going to get better or that it's run its course and things are always being challenged in your life or your relationships, you know, perhaps it's start, it's time to start refocusing your energies and turning it more towards a positive energy because ultimately that's what you're going to attract back to you. Okay. Let's see what else. So take that no answer. See that? <laughs> the answer is yes. Okay. So what I'm grabbing from this and it's interesting how we've got compromise here. So you and your person, whoever it is that you're thinking about Sagittarius, you guys may be arguing and not seeing eye to eye right now to where one person saying, yes, it is. And the other one saying, no, it ain't, you know, um, so take that however way it's resonating here. But also when we've got contradicting answers of no and yes, coming forward in a reading right next to each other, this to me is coming forward with somebody who's a little bit confused as to what it is that they want to do. One second, it's like, okay, yes, I know what I want. The next second it's okay. No, I'm not really sure. You know, so a little bit of confusion in the uh, space that's coming through from these cards here. So if it's you Sagittarius, if you are in this space of indecision and confusion, or if it's the person that you're thinking about, however way it's resonating for you. Okay. What else, please, angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius? Somebody wants forgiveness. Somebody needs forgiveness. For some of my divine feminines, it could be the divine masculine. I do tap into typically divine masculine energy from that dark night of the soul. Of course, it doesn't have to be. Take it for how it resonates. But there is someone coming forward here in need of forgiveness. And part of this yes, no answer is they might be trying to convince themselves that they need to take action, but a part of them might be afraid to do so. So it's one of those energies where it's like, okay, yes, I know I need to say I'm sorry, but oh God, no, I can't do it because they're, they're going to just be pissed off at me or, or they're just going to reject me. That type of energy, it's like that panicky, iffy, undecided, confused, scattered energy. That's what I'm feeling here. Somebody needs forgiveness. Okay. And the bottom of the deck here, we've got conclusion and a key. So when something concludes, it has to come to an end. So if it hasn't ended already, Sagittarius, maybe this is an indication here that there's a situation, a certain aspect of a connection, a relationship that needs to be acknowledged and it needs to either end or it needs to shift towards a different direction to where things are just being done differently to where you guys interact differently, okay? And just change the dynamic of the relationship if you guys are constantly arguing and fighting and just not seeing eye to eye. But somebody regrets what they've said here. Somebody needs forgiveness or wants it because there perhaps was a lack of compromise here. If they, this person wasn't willing to compromise back then, I feel they may have had a change of heart because for those of you who have already ended a relationship and you guys are in separation, I feel here somebody's got the key to get things going again. Somebody has the key to either unlock the door and just walk away from it altogether or unlock the door and enter into the relationship once again on a new footing, a, a brand new start, a fresh start to be able to reconcile and work through whatever challenges you guys had. So use that key wisely, Sagittarius, because I feel since this is your reading, you may ultimately be the person holding the key to, to this whole thing unfolding the way you are wanting it to. Going back to these focus messages, there's a connection here, undoubtedly between you and this individual. And as this 
card reads, love cures people, both those who give it and those who receive it. And going back to this compromise card, that's exactly what it's referring to. There has to be a 50-50 energy here, an equal exchange between two people. I know you guys are probably getting sick of me saying that, but it's so true. There has to be equal energy. One person cannot want it more than the other. Otherwise, it'll create imbalance. Okay, let's add some tarot to this and let's see what else needs to come forward here. From the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. You guys probably already know this is my favorite tarot deck. I've got so many tarot decks that I still need to use, but I always gravitate towards this one. So I will change it up, I promise. <laughs> but I just love how this particular deck comes forward with its messages. Okay, let's see, Sag. Let's see what else. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius. What else do we need to know at this time? A flying card. And we've got new beginnings, which is the full, but it is coming up reverse. Darn it. I would have loved to see that come up in the upright. The full card in traditional tarot. Innocence, new beginnings. But it also brings forward foolishness, okay? But it is coming up reversed. So this is somebody who's being naive that, and they feel like they're being taken advantage of. This is also somebody that's coming forward with reckless energy. So this is either you, Sagittarius, or the person that you are thinking about. I have a feeling, though, that it could be somebody else, not you. Um, the full card for me taps into air energy, so it could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. But, you know, not so focused on the signs, but it could be. So this is failing to create a new beginning here. Perhaps that's why somebody needs forgiveness. And once that forgiveness has occurred, once they take that step to either apologize to you, Sagittarius, or maybe it's you that needs to apologize to somebody else. But I really feel here more so that it's somebody that needs to apologize to you. A very simple, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry for not compromising. I'm sorry for being so bullheaded, you know, like just pigheaded. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Just difficult, difficult to deal with. And perhaps once that apology happens and forgiveness is here, it begins the healing process. And that eventually will turn the, this card in the upright, allowing the situation to welcome in a fresh start. Maybe, you know, be, that's a possibility here. Anything is possible here. The next card after that is the Five of Swords. So more air energy. Conflict and defeat is what this card says. Fives in tarot typically represent adversity, some challenges. There's definitely tension associated with this card. And if you and your partner, more than likely you guys are in separation, you guys have, I feel, been arguing, just not really being on the same page here. And perhaps you are feeling conflicted, Sagittarius, about what to do here. Especially if you've just been waiting for this person to get out of this dark space and come to the realization that you guys can actually make this work if they're just willing to compromise on certain things, you know? Let's see what else. What else, please, for Sagittarius? We now have the Two of Wands. See? Waiting game. It's going to take some time, guys, to see movement in this connection. Wands is fire energy. That's your own energy, Sag, okay? So you got to have patience to see this thing through. but there is progress that can eventually be made here. There's planning involved here. That's a part of that waiting period and finally making decisions for yourself, you know?
Interestingly too, the, the two of wands taps into the energy of somebody who is leaving home. So if you guys shared a home together, it could have possibly fallen on you, Sag, to leave that home, to go your separate ways if you guys had shared a home together. Or it's just tapping into the energy of just you guys are no longer living together. What else, please? What else, please, for Sagittarius for this bonus reading, Angels and Spirit Guides? What else do we need to know at this time? Here's another five. Emotional loss, five of cups. Water energy, so Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces for some of you. Disagreements, arguing, fighting. Yes, no. They just want compromise or you want compromise, Sag. And perhaps they couldn't give it to you before. But I feel they regret their actions because they still want you, I feel. They want and miss that connection. And maybe they know that ultimately you have the key to find a different direction for yourself. Look at this bottom of the deck, guys. We've got the two of pentacles. That's earth energy. So for some of you, it might be a Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. And look at this card, movement, choices, and decisions. So there's a lot for you to consider here, Sagittarius. And I feel this person knows it. They know that you're not going to be sitting around just waiting forever, doing nothing, you know, just wilting away into nothing. They, they know that that's just not you. They know you've got options. They know you've got choices and that you can actually create your own movement in your life without them. So this person, I feel, has come to that realization. And if they haven't, they eventually will, I feel. Because you hold the key to your future. You hold the key to these decisions. You hold the key towards creating movement here. You don't need them. You know, it's almost like you're the landlord and you've got the, the, the key to open up all these doors. And they were just the tenant, you know? It's like, uh-uh, I have control of where I go, of what I do. And I feel this person that did you wrong or hurt you and that you're in separation from this person, they know you've got choices. They know it. All right, Sagittarius, let's add some romance angels to this and let's see what else. Angels and spirit guides focusing on Sagittarius energy for this bonus reading. What else do we need to know, please, at this time? What else do we need to know? Bring it forward for me, please, angels and spirit guides. See that? <laughs> A new love. They know, Sag, that if they don't get their shit together, you're moving on and you're going to find love elsewhere. Look at this bottom card, romantic feelings. Some of you guys may have already moved on to this new love. It's almost like maybe they, they saw you starting to move on and came to the realization that, you know, they're going to lose you if they don't come forward with this apology, wanting forgiveness from you, that they've changed their ways, that they're ready to compromise now, that they ultimately want a new beginning and a fresh start with you. But there's a potential here for Sagittarius to find love again if they don't get their act together. Card after that is heart to heart conversations. So if you're willing, Sag, to talk to this person that has hurt you, part of the energy too of this new love card is starting over with somebody that you want to reconnect with and having a second chance at love with that person 
especially if you still have these romantic feelings with each other. A part of what will fix this situation is simply talking. Talking about the challenges, the obstacles, the hurt feelings. Whatever it is that went wrong in your connection, it has to be addressed honestly and openly. But the key there is to address it. You guys cannot come back together and reconnect and just sweep all of those issues under the rug because it's going to resurface. So it has to be dealt with, guys, okay? All right, so let's add to this. I feel like grabbing some cards to start a dialogue here. So the Twin Flame Messages Volume 2 deck by Mystic Moon. You do not have to identify with a Twin Flame connection. Angels and Spirit Guides for Sagittarius. Who is it that needs to speak up here? Is it Sagittarius? Is it the person that you are thinking about for this reading? Let's see who needs to speak up here. Angels and Spirit Guides. What needs to be expressed here? Words, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. Look at that. I feel too much pressure right now. Perhaps that's what's keeping this person from contacting you. They want to, but I feel with this card coming forward, they are just overwhelmed and pressured by how to approach you maybe. You know, we've got that yes, no contradictory energy from those cards. They're very much in their head about what it is that they need to do, what it is that they need to say to you, Sag, but they are struggling. What else? This is a part of the struggle. Am I good enough for you? After everything that they've done, they're really curious. You know, am I good enough for you? Would you take me back? Can we have a fresh start? Because that's what I want. But would, would you be willing to take me back? That type of energy. And the only way for them to release this pressure and to get that question answered is to talk, is to reach out. And if you're open to that, then this can all be addressed. That can all be addressed. Let me grab some additional messages from the Twin Flame slash Soulmate Unspoken Messages Volume 1 deck by Fire Witch Tarot, and let's see what else needs to be expressed here. This particular deck by Fire Witch Tarot, like a lot of her decks really, it's very much to the point. She does not mince words. You'll see. <laughs> Depending, of course, on what message comes through here. So who needs to speak up? Is it you, Sagittarius? Is it the other person? Let's see. What else needs to be expressed here between you and this person? Let's see. I can hear your thoughts. There's telepathy energy from this card. So if you have actually been hearing this person in your mind space or your heart space, or even in your dreams, and they might be experiencing the same thing, you know, telepathically, you guys are still communicating part of that 5D energy. And look at that, trust issues. Bottom of the deck in a third party situation. So a part of you guys, for some of you, there was a third party. That's what created separation here. That's why this person needs forgiveness. That is why a relationship concluded. That is what ended things. And you Sagittarius have the power to open up that door with that key and use it however way you want. Do you want to walk out that door and find a different path for yourself, find new love elsewhere? Or do you want to open up a door and enter into this person's life once again or allow them to enter your door and to start talking again? It's up to you, you know, because you guys are coming through here as two people who are still telepathically communicating. But there are trust issues that are represented here 
and more than likely it's because of a third party situation that happened. Look at this next card. I've been thinking about you. So yeah, they still think about you, Sagittarius. Because they know that they messed up. And at the end of the day, they still want you. They still think about you. They still have love for you. Romantic feelings still represented here. But if this person chose to be a part of a third party situation, I feel... Sagittarius, it's going to take a lot from you to find forgiveness in your heart. Regardless of an apology, I do feel that you need sincerity from this person and that a part of you is not willing to compromise your happiness. You know, for some of you guys, I feel that whoever it is that hurt you or betrayed you or entered into a third party situation, it's... It's taking every fiber of your being to even want to talk to this person. But, you know, you can't stop your heart from caring about somebody or loving somebody. Especially if you guys had shared lots of history together, lots of years together. So it depends on how it's playing itself out in your life, of course. Um, what I'm tapping into here is that they still feel very pressured. So they're not reaching out at this time. But I feel they're thinking about it because you are very much in their heart space and that might actually be mutual Sagittarius, you know, regardless of the fact that they might have hurt you or betrayed you, I feel you still have love for this individual. All right, so let's add some Infinity Oracle, again by Fire Witch Tarot. Let's see what else needs to come through here. So angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius, please. What else do we need to know here? What else do we need to know, please? All right, Sagittarius, what have we got? Ooh, interesting. Money, guns, and alcohol. Some of you guys may have had to deal with that. Somebody who drank too much, somebody who could have been violent, somebody who had money issues. That's another reason perhaps why you guys went into separation. And somebody is truly in their headspace trying to figure out, you know, should I reapproach this person? Would they even want to talk to me again after what I put them through? It's like, yes, no, yes, no. What do I do? Do I say sorry? Do I leave them alone? Do I just walk away, you know, whatever the case. Whatever side of the fence you are resonating with, Sagittarius. Let's grab another one. What else, please, for Sagittarius? Angels and spirit guides for this bonus reading. What else do we need to know here? What else, please, bring it forward for me. What else do we need to know? Okay. Okay. Violin, playing the victim, and ladies' night. Okay, part of the energy of this playing the victim card with that violin is, you know, when somebody's just giving you a sob story and you've heard it all before, and you've got those violins playing in the background, that might be what you're dealing with in regards to this person. So for some of you guys, even an apology may not even fix the situation. So for those of you, especially my ladies, my divine feminines, you may have already found a new direction for yourself. You may have already accepted the fact that this is a relationship that has ended. I want to find new love elsewhere. And in the meantime, you're just having a blast spending time with your girlfriends and just being out on the town and just, you know, enjoying life. And if that is the case, good for you. Look at this bottom of the deck. Do you see this? Look at the words on the bottom. <laughs> it says, no fucks given. And I, I truly feel there are some of you out there, especially my divine feminines who are in that space. Like, I don't give a fuck anymore. You hurt me. You cheated on me. Created a third party. I am done. 
Don't be giving me no sob story. I don't want to hear no violins. That type of energy. And again, I can't help but tap into the energy that some of you guys may have already moved on and found new love elsewhere. Because look at the card right after. No fucks given. Spending quality time. Spending quality time, probably with someone new. And if you're not with that person yet, somebody who's actually able to bring you what it is that you're looking for in love and romance, this is a potential of what has the capability and possibility of coming in for you, Sagittarius. Yeah, you can find love again. You can move on. You can find your happiness. All right, guys. So let's move on with some signs from Spirit, Love Oracle. Let me set these guys aside. All right, let's see what else. So angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius, please. What else do we need to know at this time for Sagittarius for this bonus reading? Please bring it forward for me. For Sagittarius, angels and spirit guides. Umbrella, shelter. For me, the color red oftentimes resonates with love and passion. Fiery energy. This taps into, for me, um, a home life, your home, where you live, your shelter. It's also the element of somebody making you feel like your home. You know, even if you guys didn't end up living together, that type of energy where they make you feel safe. They are your shelter. They are what makes you feel safe ultimately in this particular instance i do tap into divine feminine energy here so for my divine masculines who ended up causing the separation in this situation i do feel they have a lot of regrets they are sorry for what they've done but some of my divine feminines are done and my divine masculine may have come to the realization a little bit too late that, you know what, she made me feel safe. She made me feel like I was home. And he's going to have to do a lot of apologizing to even get the divine feminine to start talking. But I, I really feel some of you guys are done. You're not interested. But I do love this bottom of the deck. This is destiny. This is the card of fate, especially in regard to love and romance. And perhaps there was a time where you might have felt that way about this person, Sagittarius. But the way things have unfolded, some of you guys may have come to the realization that you were wrong. Okay, that they are not your person after all. That there's somebody else out there that you are destined to meet and love and be with. There are those of you out there who would allow this person back into your life. And if you can actually work through the challenges, the pain, the betrayal whatever it was that went down in your connection with this person, because you do feel like it is a fated connection, especially if you feel that they are your soulmate and or a twin flame, or you guys just are spiritually connected and there's this undeniable bond and chemistry between the two of you and you're okay with accepting an apology from this person. Is that a possibility for some of you? Absolutely. But also on the opposite side of that are those who have chosen to move on, find love elsewhere, and are just really enjoying life right now. They're done with the drama. They're done with 
the sob stories of the violins playing in the background, despite the fact that this person might still be thinking about you, Sagittarius, you know, you're, you're just done. You want, you want to find a relationship where you can truly trust this person 1000%. And this individual that betrayed you, I feel, just wasn't the one. And I feel for some of you, you have come to that realization and you have accepted it. But there is a faded connection here that's represented. So it's either through a new love or a second chance at love with the same person. Depends on how you are allowing it to play itself out in your life, Sagittarius. But at the end of the day, just remember, you are in control. You hold the key to your destiny. You hold the key. Bottom of the deck, we do have orange. The words on this card, enthusiasm, excitement, and warmth. And I feel given time with healing that occurs in your heart space, Sagittarius, especially if you have chosen a different direction for yourself and you're in the space of healing now, you know, finding a new love, finding a new direction, finding happiness once again is what's going to put you into this space where things don't have to be so dark and depressing and sad. You know, finally, you can see things from a more enthusiastic standpoint and things and life are just exciting again and if things were a little bit cold and stagnant with this individual especially those of you who are in separation and you're not quite sure the direction you want to go this brings out the sun okay and the sun in tarot is a beautiful card it will bring you joy and success and happiness and cause for celebration in your life Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so let's grab some Lover's Oracle to add to this. My heart-shaped Lover's Oracle, since that card deck is also called the Lover's Oracle. But this one's my favorite, the heart-shaped one. So angels and spirit guides focusing on Sagittarius. What else do we need to know, please? Okay. And I'm grabbing this bottom card. All right, so first card that flew out is friendship. This card reads, nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So for some of you willing to allow this person back into your life, it's kind of asking you to go back to a time when you guys were just friends, when things were simple when it wasn't so complicated and if you can go back to to what it was that built the foundation in your relationship which started as you guys being friends in the beginning that's going to allow you to grow the situation grow the friendship grow the relationship again okay so that's part of the energy of that message the other card that came through is acceptance is the key to inner peace at times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Absolutely. And for those of you that know that this relationship has run its course, once you've come to that realization, it's so much easier to move on and find a different path for yourself. And if this person that's coming forward, you know, in this dark night of the soul, they are wanting forgiveness, they regret their actions, they're confused, they don't know what to do. Once they come to accept things as they are as well, they will know what sort of action they need to implement here because not everybody that they approach, especially you Sagittarius, you might not even wanna accept their apology, especially if you've moved on to a new love or if you're just having fun with your friends, going out, having fun. Okay, and look at this other card. This was the bottom of the deck. It reads, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So there's somebody out there thinking about you, Sagittarius. They still love you. Question is, 
Do you still love them? Would you still want them back? Are you still willing to open up lines of communication to start talking again? And if so, just know that they still care for you and that they still love you. Okay? All right, guys. So let's add some healing messages to this. So angels and spirit guides for Sagittarius, please. Please bring forward some healing messages at this time. Healing messages for Sagittarius, please. Oh my God. Okay. Love it. New beginnings, guys. New beginnings. You're going to have a fresh start. Whether reconnecting with this person, whether on your own, whether through a new love. Beautiful. So if you're feeling stuck, if life just hasn't been progressing the way you've wanted them to, just know that things are going to start shifting and welcoming in and bringing forward this new beginning after all. Remember, we've got the full card that came up reversed here, which says new beginnings. So it almost, it doesn't matter now because you've got new beginnings that are coming forward anyway. So things are eventually going to fall into balance for you, Sag, and things are ultimately going to work itself out. That is wonderful. You're going to get wise. You've gained some wisdom as a result of what it is that you've gone through. You know, and if you were being naive before, you certainly aren't now. It's a part of your growing process. And I do feel, because part of this reversed fool card is somebody that took advantage of you. And I feel part of your journey here is to learn from that and know what it is that you're no longer willing to tolerate. You know, you're not going to be putting up with anyone else's bullshit here. No more sob stories. No more violins playing in the background. Yeah. New beginnings, guys, coming in for you. So that's beautiful. All right. So let's close out this reading, guys. I feel... Yeah. No, I'm guided towards grabbing one from the Guardian Angels deck like I always do. I'm always guided to like switch things up, but for some reason I'm always gravitating towards this deck because it's got such amazing, beautiful messages to wrap up a reading. All right, guys. So Sagittarius, some final thoughts. I'm going to grab this bottom card. Love it. Okay. So first card, guys is opportunity. This card reads, wondrous possibilities and opportunities await you. Stop dwelling on past mistakes. Surrender the past lovingly. There is nothing to regret. All is always in perfect and divine order. Everything that you've ever experienced has helped you in some way. The past is behind you. The path ahead is clear. Move forward joyfully and fulfill your heart's desire. Oh my goodness. Yes, go after what it is that you truly want this time. We also have a prayer coming through here for you, Sag. This card reads, Dear Guardian Angel, help me dissolve past guilt or regret. Help me to see that all is always in perfect and divine order. Help me to let go of the fear that I project on my future. Help me to live fully within each precious moment and feel your eternal love within and around me. Help me to realize and fulfill my true potential. Thank you. I mean, come on, guys. These cards are amazing for you. And last but not least, look at that. We've got healing. This card reads, listen to your heart. Love is the greatest healer. It has the capacity to balance and heal your emotions, your thoughts and perceptions, which in turn will heal you physically. Your angels are here with you and will help dissolve your fears. Trust in the power of love to guide you, and your life will magically transform. This card is confirmation that healing is occurring right now. Oh my goodness, guys. I'm getting goosebumps. What a beautiful way to end this reading for you for this bonus reading, guys. I hope, 
truly, whatever part of this reading resonated with you and whatever made sense for you, your life, that it brought you some peace and that you now know what it is that you're dealing with and the direction that you can ultimately go. You know, you hold the key to your destiny, guys. You can find happiness on your own. You don't need anybody to offer that to you. And whatever part of this situation makes sense for you and your life, allow it to bring about healing in whatever area needs healing. Because that will just lighten up the load of what you're carrying on your shoulders and allow you to move forward and welcome in this new beginning that wants to come in for you. All right, Sagittarius. Beautiful reading, guys. Lots to take in here. So I truly hope that it offered you guidance in whatever way you needed it at this time. All right, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in. Again, if you're interested in a private reading, all of that information is down below in the description box. And I will be back real soon with more readings for you. Thank you, Sagittarius. See you next time.